Hi, I'm Tom Kenny, the voice of SpongeBob SquarePants. I'm ready! Now, whether you also know him as Patchy the Pirate. Hey, get off my lawn! Or even Gary the Snail. Meow. Everyone's familiar with the voice of Tom Kenny. Yeah, well, not me. What? That just won't do. For you Squidwards out there, let's get to know the face of a thousand voices. Well, I'll do it, but I won't like it. Tom Kenny was born and raised in Syracuse, New York. But why does it have to be so far away? But the neighborhood was too small for Tom. Soon he flew his comedy career all the way to the West Coast. And boy, were his arms tied. I'm gonna skip the jokes and get right to the part where I throw pies at you. Do as good as that guy. Tom Kenny spent eight years performing stand-up comedy before finding his true voice in voiceover. I've been training my whole life, and now I'm ready. <laughs> Tom landed smack dab in the center of Rocco's modern life. Hey, Rocco, what's up? As the voice of Heifer, this is when it all changed. Heifer Wolf expressed a spirit of positivity that would make Tom Kenny flourish. Funny voices and positivity, that's uh, that's all I got going for me. Big cleaning! Big cleaning! Tom had finally found his calling. Here's my character. His name is Sal Lamy. Get it? Working with Heifer was a cash cow. In friendship, that is. Because it was there Tom Kenny met the one and only Steven Hillenberg. Things to do when encountering a legendary creature. The two became close friends while working as artists on different sides of the paper. But hold the brakes. Steven was brainstorming a whole different project, and it started as the Intertidal Zone. Oh, let's see. It's a comic book. Tom loved the idea. And when Mr. Hillenberg introduced Tom to a sponge named Bob, Tom immediately knew what this porous personality sounded like. Maybe it's your voice. Good one, Patrick. Well, actually, Patrick is right. Tom Kenny gave his voice to SpongeBob SquarePants. Oh, boy! And it was as if two long-lost friends had finally reunited. I hope it lasts forever. Then in 1999, the rest of the world joined in. SpongeBob's first line ever would have been, Today's the big day, Gary. Look at me. I'm naked! And that's how SpongeBob found his sound. Bring it around town. Now, while this pineapple under the sea became home to Tom Kenny, the voice of the people, he would still vacation elsewhere. As voices like, Stand back and watch the love doctor operate. May I say you look absolutely fa fa fabulous. Why, that's silly. That's why I never wear underwear. Even back in Bikini Bottom. Gary! SpongeBob wasn't the only one to use Mr. Kenny's talented tones. Ah, jellyfish feel. Hurry, hurry, son. Your mother has dinner waiting. They remind me of home. Meow. 86 those patties, crabs. And of course, Patchy the Pirate also shares a close family resemblance to Mr. Kenny. Oh, hi, kids. <laughs> Patchy Pirate here on a glorious day. Patchy may be president of SpongeBob's fan club, but it's clear that Tom deserves a fan club of his own. Just look at all the awards he's won. No, don't. That's my award closet. The world of Bikini Bottom wouldn't be the same without the one and only Tom Kenny. He was number one. Ah! Jellyfish wouldn't have the same buzz. And hot sauce wouldn't have the same bite. By the powers of naughtiness, I command this particular drop of hot sauce to be really, really hot. So tell us, Squidward, now do you see how important our land walking friend is? Nope. Can I go now? No, oh, Squidward, you jokester. I love this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Enough of that! Sorry, sir. Get those ship-shaped burgers shipped out! You'll be doing your soft shoe across the street at the crumb basket! Uh, yes, Mr. Slabs, that won't happen again, Mr. Slabs. Sorry, Mr. Slabs. <laughs>